The 15th International Konya Mystic Music Festival is among the celebrations held in honor of the 811th birthday of Muslim theologian, scholar, and poet Jalaluddin Muhammad Rumi, who lived and died in the historic city during the 13th century. Audiences are being treated to 12 live events this year. Apart from the host, Turkey, eight more nations, including Pakistan, Uzbekistan, and Spain, have brought their common compositions to Konya. The concerts take place at the Mevlana Cultural Center and the Selçuklu Congress Center. The entry is free, and the performances have so far received acclaim for bringing together the top artists in the field. The 10-day festival will wrap up at the end of the month with the renowned Dance of Soul Ensemble. Joining me now at the Mystic Music Festival here in Konya is Mehmet Mitat Özçakıl. He's a third-generation dervish in his family, as well as a researcher at the Selçuk University Institute of Rumi Studies. Thank you so much for being with us today, yeah, Mitat. So, uh, whirling is one of the spiritual uh, rituals that take place um, during the Sema performances. What are some other uh, spiritual um, motions do you do during one of those performances? Um, uh, with the Islam, uh, with the friends of prophets, uh, people after our prophets passing away comes together and they make some ritual uh, and after years uh, these ritual become an institute and we call this institute Sufism or Tasawwuf and in Sufism there are many many branches uh, the Mevlevi tradition is one of them uh, we have many, many uh, spiritual uh, ceremonies in our culture, in our belief. But Mevlevi uh, tradition, the whirling dervishes make, makes Sema. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sema uh, symbolizes death. Okay. It's really interesting because uh, according to our prophet, holy uh, words, hadith, uh, die before your death, he says means kill your ego, mm. kill your uh, bad feelings, bad behaviors. And this is a symbol of that killing because the whirling dervishes wear uh, white dresses uh, under the black cloak. And it is their shroud because they are ready to kill their ego, their self, their uh, nafs. There's, there's also a specific meaning with the positioning of the hands during yes. the Sema performances. What exactly does that represent? Um, the right uh, hand looks up and they are ready to collect uh, something from God. This is a energy or this is a mercy from God. And their uh, left hand looks down and it means they are ready to distribute the good energy from God to the everyone. Mm. And so that many, for many, many years, audience can come and watch the Sema ceremony. Wow, that's great. Um, now, as we said earlier, you are uh, a dervish, um, and it was kind of passed down through your family uh, to you. How exactly did your family get into becoming a dervish and doing these Sema performances? Uh, during 1960s, uh, my grandfather uh, learned this tradition. And we may say he is uh, one of the first person uh, who makes Sema our republic uh, period. Because with 1925, all the uh, dervish houses, uh, all the dergas uh, closed because of we are we changed our ruling system to republic system and it must be a secular uh, but uh, after 40s 50s we may say it was a pause period but after that the government started to support this tradition mm -hmm. and my grandfather was uh, one of the first uh, representative of this tradition uh, and he's he started to 
uh, go abroad to show this tradition to this beautiful culture to everyone. And he was a member of uh, December festival. Uh, and my grand, my father uh, learns uh, because he imitates his father. Exactly. And me and my brother, we are also imitating our father. Fathers. And you guys learned. You and yes. And now tell me about how being a dervish um, now was maybe very different or even maybe very same as how it was during Rumi's time? Mm, it is a little bit different, but the philosophy is the same. You know uh, uh, the most important story from Rumi. When he was going to uh, Old Bazaar in Konya, he hears the sound of hammers and the workers are works uh, on the brass or on the gold and it makes some sound this rhythmical sound this is a rhythmical sound and uh, Mevlana Celaleddin Rumi is always uh, he's he always thinks about God thinks about Allah because uh, he, he loves him he uh, gives everything for him uh, and their mind their heart is really interesting mm -hmm. uh, and they are very powerful about it and this rhythmical sound reminds uh, these sounds come from heaven and he starts to turn around himself this is out of control because it comes from, from heart within. yeah this is ecstasy now you are taking part in the mystic music festival um, which we are covering at the moment here in Konya um, tell me why this festival is really special. Music is very important. Uh, the festival, the Mystic Music Festival is very important because we cannot think a Mevlevi tradition without the music. Uh, according to Mevlana Celaleddin Rumi, uh, the music, he says, when we listen to the music, we hear the door cracking of the heaven uh, because the music feeds the spirits and it's a device, it may help you to reach the truth. Uh, the music gives you ecstasy. Uh, and this mystical uh, music festival is very important. Firstly, it started during the December festival with the uh, anniversary of his uh, passing away. But mm -hmm. now, after a few years, uh, they changed to his birthday. Uh, and every year between 20 September and 30 September, uh, Konya changes because thousands of people come to see uh, these beautiful uh, events. And to commemorate yeah. uh, Mevlana Rumi. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Showcase today. It was great having you on our show and speaking about Mevlana Rumi and the Mystic Music Festival. You're welcome. Thank you.